They poured out a prayer with they chastened when thy chastening was upon them. Like as a woman with child that draweth near the time of her delivery is in pain and crieth out in her pains, so have we been in thy sight, O Lord. Verse 18. We have been with child. We have been in pain. We have, as it were, brought forth with. We have not brought any deliverance in the earth, neither have the inhabitants of the world fallen. Thy dead men shall live. Together with my dead body shall they arise. Awake and sing, ye that dwell in dust, for thy dew is as the dew of the earth, and the earth shall cast out the dead. Come, my people, enter thy into thy chamber and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. 21 and last. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquities. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. May the Lord turn a blessing to the reading of his word. Thank you very much this morning. Praise the Lord. To God be the Lord. We're continuing our service as we sing hymn number 298. Just a little talk for Jesus. Amen.
church. Capacity. 
And also, we wanted to announce uh, again the vaccine sites. Uh, vaccine sites in Union County are as follows. The Acme and Kenwood, New Jersey. The CVS Pharmacies in Elizabeth and Union, New Jersey. The Elizabeth Health Department in Elizabeth. Neighborhood Health Services in Plainfield. The Older Medical Center in Summit. Norway Health Department in Norway. Riverside Medical Group Urgent Care Center in Springfield. The Robert Wood Johnson Hospital in Norway. And then the following ShopRite pharmacies in these general locations, Hillside, Clark, Lincoln, Union, and Elizabeth. And then also the Stop and Shop Pharmacy in Elizabeth, Trinidad Regional and Medical Center in Elizabeth, and Kane University in Union, New Jersey. We also have a card here that says, Blessed are the givers, and grateful are the receivers. Thanks so much. It says here, to Pastor Moore, Minister Margaret, Minister of Staff, and the entire body of Christ at Second Baptist Church, Roseville, New Jersey. Thank you for giving so much to our family over the more than 20 years since God sent us to you. Even now, all the way from Decatur, Alabama, we thank you for your continued love prayers and keeping us in the Lord and in the Lord. I'm in Second Baptist's 130th year with a check for $130. Knowing, uh, knowing we could never repay you for all the kindness, grace, mercy extended to us. Yeah. We miss you dearly. You will always be our home away from home. Thanks so much. May God continue to richly bless you Love and prayers in Jesus' precious name, the Harney family. Yes. Alex, Deborah, Aisha, Sarada, Harney. Amen. Wow. And they say, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you from Philippians chapter 1, verse 2. Amen. Amen. God bless the Harney family. And so we miss you, awesome. uh, Deborah, miss Alex, and Sarada. Amen. And, uh, and Aisha, praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Sister Sergio? There is a birthday in the house of uh, Richard. Oh, Richard's birthday. Okay. Richard. So Richard's birthday. Richard. Praise yeah. the Lord. And so, uh, Richard, when is your birthday? What, what's today? Today? No, Wednesday. When is it? Wednesday. Wednesday. When is it? Wednesday. Wednesday? Okay, Wednesday, so happy birthday to you, Richard. Hallelujah. And may you have a blessed day and many, many more. To God be the glory. And also, as we continue our notices and our announcements, amen, uh, we uh, have ways that you can stay connected to Second Baptist Church. Uh, we have our, our prayer calls that are happening every Monday through Friday at 5.30 a.m., 6 p.m. and Friday at 12 noon. That's at the number area code 605 475 3215. The access code is 916 920 PATH. Again, 605 475 3215. Access code 916 920. And then we have weekly virtual Sunday school every Sunday morning, 9 a.m. to 9 45 by way of Zoom. The ID number is 973 4941 8882. That's 973 4941 8882. Now, if you are a New Yorker, New Jersey resident, you can phone in at 646 558 8656. Again, 646 558 8656. Now, we also have in person worship. We've been doing so since the very beginning of the pandemic, but we've been doing it with wisdom, socially distancing ourselves, keeping all the proper protocol, amen, for the corona guidelines. And so our in-person uh, uh, pers in services are happening uh, with social distancing, also by way of Facebook, Instagram Live, and telephone conference call every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. You'll also find us on YouTube, Second Baptist Church, Roselle, New Jersey, on 
YouTube. For the Facebook Live and Instagram Live, Second Baptist Roselle, New Jersey. Amen. Also, we have our Tuesday Bible studies, 10.30 a.m. and 7 p.m. by way of telephone conference call. But that same telephone conference call, you can also hear our Sunday morning services. So Sunday morning at 10 a.m., Tuesday morning Bible study at 10.30 a.m., and then Tuesday evening Bible study at 7 p.m. by calling 978-990-5000, access code 374-329-PAM. Again, 978-990-5000, access code 374-329-PAM. And just in case you'd like to hear the playback, you can call 978-990-5099, and then the same access code, 374 329 And then every Thursday night, our young adult Bible study will take place at 7.30 by way of Zoom with our own pastor by members of, of the Second Baptist, you know the Zoom mm -hmm. number. Now, please note, church family, as our doors are open for limited church services in person, uh, please stay connected for updates throughout our document ministry leadership. Measures are in place to ensure confidential health screening social distancing, and hygienic practices. We ask that when in service, masks remain on the entire time, covering your nose and your mouth, and with your gloves, amen, throughout the entire service. Uh, and we're, we're asking that you do that, with the exception of those that come to the microphone so that your voice is not muzzled and that you would have the, the, the freedom, amen, to minister un, unhampered. And so, if, uh, for any reason, any reason, any of our members of section have any uh, concerns or needs, you can contact your diaconate uh, leadership. Uh, otherwise, you can contact Deacon Joseph Williams or Reverend Beverly Jones, since you have additional needs. And for me, that was all that were our notices and our announcements. Uh, if I forgot anything, charge it to my head, but not to my heart. But the most important announcement of all is this. Jesus Christ is soon to come Amen. and it prepares to be ready. Amen. Because ready or not, Jesus is coming. Amen. So if you can look to a neighbor to your left, to your right of you, in front of you, behind you, and say, neighbor, Amen. ready or not, Amen. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Are, you ready? Are you ready? Could you look to another neighbor and say, neighbor? Neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Ready or not, ready. Jesus is coming. Are you ready? And as Smokey, the Christian man, would say, only you can prevent eternal fires. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, my brothers and sisters, we're going to continue in our service before we share the word of God with this final hymn selection, hymn number 356. Just a closer walk with me. Praise the Lord. So stand with us and join us as we sing this song, Just a Closer Walk with Thee. Now, if you're at home, please you may see it, but if you, if you want to stand in your own home, you can do that too. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So you can be on the the congregation. Fear and peace. Just a closer walk with Just a closer walk with me. Thank you. 
say the Lord, for you are our strength. You are our redeemer. And we give you glory. We give you praise. And we ask it all in Jesus' name. And for your sake, we thanks again. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Brother Benson. Amen. Lord, I thank you, Miss Brittany. I mean, God, for her. Thank you, Brother Kendrick, our sound group man, and technician. And thank you, ushers, amen, trustee members. And thank you, loved ones that are gathered today in the house of God to lift up the holy name, the precious name of Jesus. Our scripture text has been read from Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 26, verse 1 through 21 in its entirety. But I'd like to emphasize verse number 3. Uh, I'm going to read verses 1 down to verse number 4, but with emphasis in verse number 3. In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for walls and borders. Opening the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. And as we emphasize verse number three, thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. May the Lord God have his blessing to the reading and hearing of his most holy word. We find, amen, that God has a plan and a design for people that will seek his face and that will trust him. We know there's a scripture verse that, uh, that we're all familiar with that says, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not into your own understanding in all of your ways. Acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. My view is for a topic this morning. Keep your mind stayed on Jesus. Amen. Keep your mind stayed stay on Jesus. I remember there was an old devotional song that we used to say. And sometimes we just keep singing the same verse. Sometimes maybe five minutes. Sometimes for eight minutes. Sometimes we just sang until the windows. I get steam in the church. <laughs> but the song said, I woke up this morning and hit the mind. Stay on Jesus. I woke up this morning and hit the mind. Stay. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. 
And then you wake up in the morning with your mind. It's spinning up on Jesus, spinning on Jesus, spinning up. And then nothing like having your mind spinning on Jesus because you can't nobody do it on Jesus. Can't nobody do it like the Lord. Amen. He said that in that day, there's going to be a particular day and time. Yes. There's going to be a song that's going to be sung. Yes. Maybe they're not singing it now. Maybe they might be singing the song like sometimes I feel like a mother's child a long way from home. Maybe they're singing uh, Deep River. My, my home is over, over joy. Amen. Uh, maybe they're singing songs of, of, of depression and feeling lonely and feeling dejected and feeling rejected. But glory to God, they, they, they have a, a, a refrain within those sad songs or those depressed songs, amen, a, a glimmer of hope, amen, uh, where they're looking forward to uh, the, the deliverance of getting over the situation, amen, over the home, over the hill, praise God. Yeah. Uh, somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> the promise of God. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Where it's going to come to pass. They might not see it right now. Amen. And oftentimes, uh, you, you've heard people say uh, that he may not come when you want him. Hey. Talk about God. But when you need him, he's right on time. Amen. Brother Sullivan said, he's an on time God. Yes, he is. And he may not. He's there when he's not going to be with me. Right on time. He's an on time, God. Yes, he is. Oh, he's right on Amen. Praise the Lord. And he's never too busy to hear our hearts cry. God be the Lord. Listen, in that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. It's, it, it, and, and there's going to be verses like, right? but we have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. Open ye the gates that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever. For in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. God will keep him in perfect peace of mind to stay on thee. And in other words, God will keep that person in peace. Amen. Peace. Now, I say peace, peace on purpose because when it talks about God will keep him in perfect peace, perfect means peace to the, to the extreme. So I'm going to keep you in extreme peace, peace. Not just simple peace. Uh -huh. but it, it's just God will keep that person in peace, peace. Because sometimes your peace can be disrupted. Yeah, yeah. You're trying to lay down, you have a hard day at work, and you had a tough day at the house or wherever it was, and, and uh, you just want to lay down and get a little peace and quiet. Yeah, but there's still unrest going on, there's noise. Yeah. And everybody wants your attention. Yes. Jesus wanted to get some sleep, amen, in uh, the ship. And, 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 and here he was exhausted, mm. praise God, from ministering to people, yeah. feeding thousands of folks, healing folks, opening up blind eyes, great the land to walk, the dumb to talk, yeah. uh, the dumb to speak, and, 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 and bring people from the dead. And, and he's trying to get some sleep, but the storm, then there's this problem with water crashing in yeah. on the boat, and he was laying in sleep, he fell to sleep. And was, the, the water, the disciples thought was going to drown this boat, tear it down and under. But Jesus was fast asleep because he is the Prince of Peace. And so look at Jesus in the midst of turmoil, in the midst of turbulence, in the midst of a hurricane and a tornado in the sea. Jesus was fast asleep. That's what we call peace. To the point that now his apostles had to wake him up. Wake up, Master. Don't you care that we perish? Now, 
The water wasn't disrupting his sleep. The winds weren't disrupting his sleep. The waves weren't, and, and, and all of the topsy-turvy situations of the, of the boat weren't disturbing his peace. That was his disciples. Yeah. And so when his disciples disturbed his peace, he looked at the winds and the waves that were disturbing them because the winds and the waves were disturbing them and they were disturbing him. He said, peace! Be still! I need some peace. And some quiet. Now let me go back to sleep. Peace, peace. He has peace, peace in the midst of and so, if you can have that kind of peace on the inside of you, how do you feel when the world is cut to turn and, and, and things aren't going right and everything that seems like it's going up and going down? When you look at a Christian that has put their trust in the Lord, you look at the Christian, and the, and the Christian is, is untethered. They're, they're, un, they're not phased. And then they're, they're, they're not affected, but, but there's a, a particular calm in Christian's life. There, there's a, 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 a relaxed spirit. There's, a, there's some kind of a trust uh, over, over their being that they're just... Just, just come and, and, and your co-workers and others just say, aren't you worried? Yeah. Aren't you afraid? Yeah. Aren't you concerned? Yeah. Well, well, I am, but, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm nervous. And I'm not falling out. Praise yeah. the Lord, I'm not That's stressing true. over. Praise the Lord. See, because stress is a killer. Yeah. As we said last year, back in March, when the pandemic hit, yeah. amen, do not stress yourself yeah. out because God has not given you the spirit of fear. But love and power and the sound because stress is literally a killer. Yes. But what does stress look like? Can't see it. What does it smell like? Can't smell it. Come on, baby. What does stress taste like? Can't taste it. And stress is an intangible. Stress is a spiritual thing. It's not physical. And so but the doctors have confirmed that stress could be one of the number one killers of human beings because they, their fears inundate them and overtake them. And the Bible says that fear bringeth torment. So if you allow fear to come in, it is a, oh, child, this going to be bad. Oh, this corona for you, oh, child. And then all of a sudden we start worrying about with the corona, the power of the corona virus over the power of God. Lord, come on. Amen. The, the, the threat of the coronavirus over the promises of God. Lord, come on. Then obviously we're going to succumb amen, to those stressors, and those stressors are going to have an effect on us, and we're going to start losing sleep. Yeah. We're going to start losing our appetite. We're going to start giving way amen, to the things that creep in that stress comes with. That, that comes from that oh, stress. And then, and next thing you know, uh, we're, we're breaking down our resistance yeah. to the so, so now yeah. our immune system oh, is open to yeah. colds and flus and viruses yeah. and diseases, yeah. and then ultimately it can bring death. Because yeah. yeah. fear brings torment, and that's what stress does. It brings fear with it. Yeah. And so God is not giving us the spirit of fear, the power of love, and a sound mind. So there's a certain type of confidence. Yeah that the Christian has. There's a steadfastness that the Christian has. There's a unmovability, that unshakability that the Christian that people can't quite comprehend. I don't understand you. I can't figure you out. The Lord is, is falling apart all around us. He's coming all around us. And you seem to have peace. Give me some of that joy. What is that? No, it's not drunk. Amen. Give me some of that drink. What is it? It's not drink. Give me some of that this or that. Look, I'll tell you. I'll let you know the secret. Uh, I'm, I'm drinking. You what? I'm drinking. And it's called wine from heaven. It's bottled in heaven. It's called Jesus juice. I'm the Jesus juice. And you can't buy it in the liquor store. You can't buy it in the bar. It's not even in the bar, people's houses, and you know, whatever. It, this wine that I'm drinking.
going to be bottled in heaven. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And then when it comes to coming with that bread, that bread of heaven, that comes with the child. One more moment. Amen. But it's that wine that comes from on high. It's, it's that sweet, amen, that sweet savor, that, that, that sweet juice, amen, that comes from above, amen, that, that love that saturates my very being. It, it doesn't go to my stomach, it goes to my mind, it goes to my heart, it goes to my soul, amen, hallelujah, to the point that I heard somebody say, God's not dead, he's alive. I can feel him in the room. I can feel him in the room. whatsoever, 
and then be able to become sons and daughters of God, heirs of God, and joining us with Jesus Christ, a royal priesthood, a chosen generation, a peculiar people. What will it cost? And it was going to cost the precious blood of Jesus Christ. You want to pay for the sins of these sinners? Well, you're going to have to be wounded for their transgressions. You're going to have to be bruised for their iniquities. The chastisement of their peace is going to be upon you, Jesus. Yes. And by your stripes, they will never be healed. Yes. Jesus said yes. And he went all the way to Calvary's cross and completed the mission. And he said, Father, it is finished. Into thy hands I commend you. He accomplished the work of salvation. He who knew no sin became sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God. And so he brought us salvation. God's salvation serves as bulwarks for his people. Now the word is bulwarks here in this verse number one. In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. In other words, the salvation that God has now given us, that we have committed ourselves to receive as a result of accepting Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior, is as, not just as, it is a bulwark and wall. God's salvation serves as bulwarks for his people. Now, what is a bulwark? Glad you asked that question. A bulwark is a wall of defense designed to drive danger or attack away from others. So in other words, when people are trying to attack you and danger is coming your way, God stands up as a bulwark and a wall of defense. Amen. And even when the devil himself amen, comes in to avenge you, when he comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord, the Holy Spirit, lifts up a standard against the devil, against the enemy when he's back. He, he stepped on the devil. Amen. Because God got you. Amen. It's almost like a halfback or fullback or running back or whatever back. Amen. And, and, and here we are, praise God. We're putting our trust in Jesus and he puts us under his arm. Amen. Yeah. And he's running, amen, through the, off, uh, through the defensive tackles. And, amen. He's running. And, and they try to uh, tackle him, but, but he, he stick arms and then steps over it. Amen. And backs another arm and, yeah. and he keeps us secure. Yeah. It's safe in the arms yeah. of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus says, you're my father. Yeah. Go back to him. Pluck you. Out of his hands. Amen. Amen. And when you're in his hands, you're safe. Yes. You're safe. Yes. Safe in his arms. Safe yes. in his hands. Yes. Out of his body. But a bulwark is also a wall of defense designed to drive danger or attacks away from others. But bulwarks are also designed to cover. Oh. Yes. So God's got you over your head. Yes. They're designed to defend. Bulwarks are designed to fence in, to fence you in. Oh. Amen. When the devil and the hell hounds are all around, say, let me out, let me out, let me out. Let me out. Yeah. The fence there, amen. Yeah. Even when the devil says, look, I'm a huff and puff, and I'm blowing your house down now, just huff and puff and blow himself out. Because <laughs> God's fence sitting with him, can't touch this. Can't touch this. Hallelujah. Hey. Amen. Bulwarks are also designed to guard. They're designed to keep and to protect, to safeguard, to screen, yes. to secure, to shield, yes. and to warn. Yes. Bulwarks are known as battlements, as power pits, as ramparts, as bastions, as castles, as citadels, as forts, as fortifications, as yes. fortresses, as strongholds, yes. as bunkers, yes. as dugouts, yes. as blockhouses, as entrenchments. Yes. Yes. The name of the Lord yes. is a strong tower. Yes. And the righteous run into it. Yes. And he is safe. Can't trust it. And I'm safe. In the arms of the Lord, can't trust it. I'm safe. God got this. That's what salvation is. God's salvation are bulwarks and walls. Protected and defended and covered. And fenced in 
in and shield. Yeah, no, that's right. Who wouldn't want to be safeguarded and screened and secured and shielded from all of the dangers yeah. and the woes of the world and especially the, the wiles of the devil and the Who in their right mind right. wouldn't want their salvation? Right. It just so happens to be free. Yeah. But it costs something. Yeah. It costs the precious blood of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. If the word says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Listen to this. God, which is thou, God will keep that person in peace, peace, whose thoughts and imaginations are continually focused on God. You got to keep thinking of that. Yeah. You ever fall in love? Maybe mm -hmm. back when you were in kindergarten. <laughs> and you just fell in love with the teacher. Oh, they call that puppy love. They said, Jack's in love with his crab tree. Jack's in love with his crab tree. <laughs> 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 little heart just, you know, she just walks by me. Not her perfume was that. Oh. Listen, love to teach you. Amen. And then she calls your name. And then come up and, and read something. You know? And you get to stand next to the teacher at the teacher's desk. She called me. <laughs> she knows my name. <laughs> she knows my name. <laughs> and you feel pretty good knowing that somebody's thinking about you, somebody is concerned about they care, they love you as far as puppy love you, they, they, they just love you and you're the only person in the whole wide world that they love. They know that's why you have to get old back, praise the Lord, because when her husband shows up, or her fiance is at all, when she's taking all right. <laughs> praise the Lord. But have you ever fallen in love with someone else and, you know, you, you just uh, start making these little Paper for shade, flowers and potato, those little pipe cleaners and things. Then you stick some root on it. Or uh, what, what, what were those old kinds that we used to make back in the day? Old spice, old spice. Put it on and give them that little flower. And then your little girl would come and say, I love you. Or, or just, you don't even say that because you're kind of scared. You know, you don't tell them that you love them, so you give a little note. Here, uh, somebody want me to give this to you. <laughs> and then they read the note and say, Peanut says he likes you. <laughs> Amen. You peanut. <laughs> Amen. And uh, you think about them all the time. You yeah. can't concentrate on your homework. Amen. Every waking hour, you, you just want to know, uh, you know, well, they call me on the telephone. Do they like me? You know, what's going to happen tomorrow? I can't wait to get to school tomorrow. Let me eat my breakfast real fast and get to school so I can see her or him again. Amen. So that they can say, hello. And my heart stops fluttering. And, and then after a while, you know, even with, with adults, you just can't, you can't get enough of being around that person. You just, you think about it all the time. And sometimes you just get on the phone and you don't have anything to say. You just, I just, I just call. Just say, I love you. I just call. Just say, I love you. Just say, I love you. I just call to say, I love you. And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. That's right. <laughs> And, and, and one of my brothers, uh, my, my second brother, uh, he used to walk from Roselle to Vauxhall, New Jersey, to visit his girlfriend. Now, I don't know how many miles, about five, six, seven miles, maybe, something like that. And at that time, uh, they had curfews where you couldn't be walking the streets, but he would risk getting picked up by the police because he had to walk to see his street teams. So <laughs> and then he walked all the way back home. Amen. 
And you just have day after day just walking. And then there will be times where he's on the telephone with Tinsley. Holding on the telephone. Nobody can call CH 54120 anymore because he's on the phone, jamming up the phone line, laying down on the floor, feet up in the air on the windowsill, twisting his hair, phone receiver at his, at his ear now, and not saying a word. They're just both quiet, not saying anything until a thought comes to mind. And then they say something. And then at times they'll be watching TV together on the telephone. And uh, nobody's saying anything. And they say, Tim, did you see that? <laughs> yeah, bring that phone. And they'll just day after day after day, telephone, walking back and forth. Finally, they got mad. <laughs> I'm going to get on the phone. <laughs> and they're still mad to this day. <laughs> and there's just something about each other's heart and love that they have one for another that they just think about each other all the time. And there's a song that says, Think about his love. Yeah. Think about his goodness. Think about his grace. That brought me through. For as high as the heavens above, great is the measure of our Father's love. Great is the measure of our Father's love. One more time. Think of His love. Think about his goodness. Think about his grace that brought us through. For as high as the heavens above, so great is the measure of our Father's love. And Lord, when, 
When you bring those desires to pass, you just make my heart so happy for that. It's almost like, you know, people in the courtship, you go to the favorite restaurant, get the favorite ice cream or the favorite food or whatever. It's like, oh, you remember my, you remember our anniversary. You remember uh, my birthday. You remember this or that, but those little things. You, you wash the dishes. You ate dinner tonight. You wash the clothes. You iron my blouse. You iron my shirt. You took enough time to think about me and, and, and the joy that I sense on the inside because I feel loved. I feel cared about. I feel honored. I feel special. You give me joy where I can just laugh. A good laugh. You know, one of those belly laughs that go down to my shoes, down to my feet there. Uh, I'm just so happy to have I'm just tickled on the inside because of that joy and that peace, that spirit of God that always falls fresh on me when I, when I seek you in earnest. He said, when you shall seek me and you shall find me, when you shall search me with all of your heart, and I will be proud of you, saith the Lord. Thank you, God, for your salvation. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 9 says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Talk to God, the one that's able to do what people can do. Talk to the God that never fails when people fail. The arm of flesh will always fail. Yeah. It has to fail. Yeah. Otherwise, we would consider people with the arm of flesh to be God in God's place. So God has to allow failure in the people that you put up in God's place. He allows failure to happen in that person's life or those people's life so that you will see them diminish in the presence of an almighty God. Because they are not God, but God is God. Amen. Always will be God. And as long as God is in his proper place, his proper position, in the, on the throne of your heart and on the throne of your life, he will prosper you. He will open the wings of heaven and pour out blessings upon you. You won't have room enough to receive. And people will be awestruck and in wonder to say, how is it that you are so full of joy, so full of peace in the midst of all of this trouble that's going on. How are you so prosperous in the midst of everything that's being taken away? How can you have hope? How can you sing a song in a strange yeah. land being oppressed? Yeah. And you can still sing songs yeah. with hope. See, the Bible says, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer. And it's, it's about praying. It's about seeking the face of the Lord in prayer. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Take it to the Lord and leave it there. Hallelujah. Prayer for you and supplication for others. Seeking the face of God, begging God, beseeching God for someone else's needs because somebody else is going through a situation that's much worse than yours. Don't think that you're going through the worst case on the planet because there's always someone worse than you. You say, oh God, my, my leg hurts, but then you turn around and see a man that has no legs. Oh God, my, my hand hurts and you turn around and you see a person that has no hands. God, I'm, I'm just having trouble talking, but you find a person that can't speak at all because they're dumb. Huh? What did you say? God, why did you make me this? But I can't hardly hear. But there's a person that can't hear. Can't see. Supplication. But get this. Is prayer for you and others, but supplication is necessary for others as you, you're, you're begging God, beseeching God. You're persistently going before the throne of God on someone else's behalf. But he says, with thanksgiving. Now, 
It didn't happen yet. The answer has to come to fruition. But God says, I want you to thank me in advance for what I'm going to do. Don't wait till the battle is over. Shout down. For we go in the end. We're going to win. So don't pray like you're defeated and don't pray like you're not going to come to death. Pray like you're
Amen. But what sort of things are good report? If there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Stop worrying about the wrong stuff and the negative stuff. All of that's going to work. Go down. It's going to dilute your, your faith. It's going to pollute your thinking. It's going to discourage you. It's going to stress you out. Forget about the things that are trying to drown you and pull you under. Think on the things that are pulling you up. Things that are going to resurrect you. Resurrect your mind. Resurrect your thinking. Resurrect your faith. Resurrect your hope. Resurrect your joy. Give new life. New meaning, new purpose, new direction, new focus. Amen. Those things come to us. I will lift up my mind into the hill. For this to my help. My help comes from the Lord. That makes the heavens and earth and earth come down here. Church in my head. Amen. 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 Am
gotta keep your heart, keep your mind, stay on me. You gotta keep your heart, keep your mind, stay on me. So I will keep you in perfect peace. It, it, it's a whole song. I got the this song is right now. I'm like, what the hell? Amen. You can't have this. It's on the inside of me. And if, I, if I let you just borrow what I'm hearing right now, you would not get it back. So I'm not letting you.
Go to a Christian church where you're teaching and preaching Jesus Christ. Yeah. You can yeah. bear the voice in your hand and come and back to you. Yeah. Hallelujah. And go in to a place where you can pray and read God's word and learn his word and where you can be encouraged by others to serve the Lord Jesus Christ with your whole heart. Yeah. And let your light shine before men, women, boys, and girls that they'll see your good works and in turn will be God reward you. Which is okay. We love you. We invite you to attend with us here at Second Baptist Church, 200 Broken Street, Roselle, New Jersey. We're not a perfect church by any means, but we serve a perfect Savior, for sure. His name is Jesus Christ. And we love you to fellowship with us that he might mold us and shape us and break us down yeah. and restructure us and transform us into the image of Jesus Christ. Make us more like Jesus and less like the old us that we used to be. And you'll find that any man or woman, boy or girl that's in Christ Jesus, they're a new creature. Yeah. Old things will pass away and all things will become new. Let us look away to the Lord. Father, we love you. We thank you for your eyes have seen, our ears have heard, and our souls have felt. Yeah. Now, Lord, we Go forward to serve you and to let our light shine for you. We ask in Jesus' name, Lord God, that you watch over us, keep us, bless us, and make us a blessing until we meet again. And now, may the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost, may he bless, rule, and divide with us both now and henceforth and evermore. And all of God's people sing. Thank you.